Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's March 3rd, 2017. It's a beautiful sunny day. Yesterday we had some pretty high winds and I thought this would be a good opportunity to discuss microclimates, observation, you know, permaculture, one of the, 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 the primary principles is observation. So yesterday, <laughs> The high winds, we had uh, 60 mile an hour winds, gusts all over in this area. And we probably had over where the Gothic greenhouse is going, one of the, the last couple of videos, uh, probably 80 mile an hour winds because of the elevation over on that site. But this is part of our Zone 1 uh, C uh, permaculture garden area this area behind me, behind that little teepee between me and that building. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what, what's going on back there. So here we are on the east side of the workshop future demonstration site here. So on the east side of this building, so the building is to our west, and the western placed building actually blocks all of those high winds coming out of the west. Now yesterday we had very high winds, 60 mile per hour gusts hitting next to this area. Over there I actually have a, a, uh, a weather station where we can measure the wind gusts. So selecting by observing how the winds affect the areas that you're going to be putting your garden, you can actually identify sorry, the wind is picking up a little bit here you can actually identify microclimates and structures that can help you to decide just where to put your plants so you can see all these number these bags here are nylon bags that actually have uh, number two stone in them they're used as weights and they've all been thrown off of the tarp out here and the tarp we use to keep the beds to suppress weed uh, production to kill the weeds off as they start to come up in the spring and to keep the, the beds dry in the spring so we can get an early planting as well. So just wanted to show you that all of the area right here has been disrupted by the wind but the area that was blocked by the structure that's here to the west of it and our winds come out of the west really did do a great job. So in between each one of these permanent raised beds you could still you can still see the boards laying there. You could see some ice where the water had collected there after the snow melted, and that helps to hold the tarp down as well. It's not that this area isn't affected by the winds; it certainly is, but not to an extreme effect. So those crops that that are prone to getting knocked over and damaged by high winds, you want to put those next to to an area that that can mitigate the uh, the high winds. But the main reason we put these here was for uh, to keep our corn standing. And our corn gets quite tall, and I'll put a couple of images to show the how it looked over in this area. So it kept our, our uh, tomato towers and our corn from getting damaged at all by the high winds this year. So again, it's observing during different times of the year and uh, taking note of that and, and realizing, well, this, this is a very specific microclimate that we want to utilize uh, for our up, upcoming crop uh, planning. So that's it for this video folks. I, if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much. 
and have a great day. Bye-bye now.